jank little moment. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Okay, so Picky joins us, which is cool, I guess. Yeah. Let's t let's eat this um, meteorite pizza thing. Ness, do you hear a buzzing? Do you hear a buzzing that sounds? Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Uh, no, I don't know. You're crazy. Oh, come on, you must hear it. I hear it now, I guess. Interesting, that came out of the meteor. <laughs> a B, I am not. I am from 10 years in the future. And in the future, all was devastation. Guy Gas, the universal uh, cosmic destroyer, sent all of the horror of eternal darkness. Sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, this is what this is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock, and will reveal the path of light. You see, in my opinion, that you are that the, in my opinion that you are that the boy is a nest. <laughs> this I believe. I guess monstrous plan must have sent have been sent in motion somewhere on earth if you st start to confront the enemy immediately you may have time to counter the evil intentions of a guy gas three th things are of the utmost importance wisdom courage and friendship the legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat guy gas i will tell you more later go now and do you not be anxious about the future you must work hard. You must have to. You must have. You have much work to do, Ness. There we go. Do you listen, did you listen to what I had told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are the, expo, you are the expo, exponential as expected. You are the, as exponential as I expected you to be. That's a nice chime. I think Buzz Buzz joins us. Yeah, Buzz Buzz now joins you. Okay, um, Ness, it, it's looking like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart's about to pound, is almost pounding right out of my chest. Okay, so on the way back, you won't run into any uh, wild enemies from like a runaway dog or a snake. But I don't think we've run into a snake yet, but we've run into runaway dogs and crows basically. So up until, well, I shouldn't spoil it. Let's just make our way down this little mountain thing. I didn't mean to press A there. <laughs> My bad. So I like how Buzz Buzz just circles around your head. That's pretty cool. So Buzz Buzz knows what he's talking about. Well, it's, well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I believe him. I believe in the prophecy. Ness is the chosen one, or one of the chosen ones. And we're gonna be invincible! Oh wait, what the heck? <laughs> it's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You, you've you been successful at foiling Master Gygas's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. So this is our first boss battle in the game. It's really easy because like you can't there's no possible way you could lose this fight I mean like they just give you this fight and you automatically win. I mean you can't lose this fight so I could use um, PS life up on my teammates I think but it's really no point because I can just go bashing on this Starman jr. This enemy is Starman jr. So we'll have to bash him <laughs> basically Okay, uh, PSI Shield. Um, if you remember in Super Smash Brother, in the Super Smash Brothers series, uh, you know, Ness uses PK Thunder and PK Fire and PK Pulse. But, um, oh wait, they're attacking, okay. Um, but, um, it's actually just PSI in the Earthbound games, or the Mother series, I should say. Yeah, each Buzz Buzz puts a PSI Shield of us, you know, and Starman Jr. just tries to attack it and get rid of it, but there's no way he's going. Is gonna win basically. Yeah, I like the cool backgrounds and stuff, that's really cool. Okay, all of it's all the shields are disappearing, I'm sorry. But he yeah, Buzz Buzz 
that's the reason why you win this fight, basically. Uh, and you, that is the reason why you can't lose this fight, is because he's so powerful and strong. He has all the right stuff in battle mode. Mm -hmm. So, like, every time Buzz Buzz puts up a shield, uh, Simon Jr. tries to get rid of it, and he does, but the next turn, he put, Buzz Buzz, I think, puts up another shield. So, 125 HP, wow. And with that, we win. We gain 16 experience points. Ness is now level 3. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. And IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. And maximum HP went up by 13. Ooh, thanks. Maximum PP went up by 3. Yeah, and Vitality is like the best stat you want to keep on raising up in this game because it'll help you out in the long run. Or so I've heard at least. So I want to try to raise up my Vitality as much as I can. For all my teammates, basically, because we're gonna get later teammates in the in the game later on. As they as the prophecy said, three boys and one girl. Phew! I was taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent. Oh man. Due to Dot Gygas's influence over their evil in their minds, and it is the truth, so listen. Okay. So we, I'm gonna just end the part right here, I'm gonna go back to my house and save.